Is a high protein diet going to make your kidneys explode? Let's talk about that. How's it going guys? My name is Richie Kerwin and today we're going to talk all about how protein affects your kidneys and the science behind the safety of high protein diets. We'll also talk about how much protein people can eat without any health problems and you might actually be surprised at how much. So if you have any friends or family members that have been on your case because of how much protein you're eating, you might want to share this video with them. Protein has probably become one of the biggest buzzwords in nutrition and fitness in the last few years, and there's plenty of reasons for that. High protein diets are useful for weight loss, for helping people to reduce appetite, and of course, for helping to build bigger, stronger muscles. For building muscle, the usual recommended protein intake is around 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, Per day. For a 70 kilogram person, that can work out at up to 154 grams of protein per day. But studies have shown that some bodybuilders can even have protein intakes of well over 3.7 grams per kilogram per day, which is over 250 grams of protein per day. That's not to say you need that much, but those high amounts of protein intake are pretty regularly seen in studies. Just to give you an idea, the current UK recommendation, or RNI for protein, is 0.79 grams of protein per kilogram per day, which works out at a total of 53 grams per day for an average 70 kilogram person. Some people on a high protein diet get that much in a single meal. So, with high protein diets being so much higher than the recommended amount of protein, it's no wonder that some people get worried that they might be getting too much protein. Before I talk about whether higher amounts of protein are safe or not, I need to mention what the recommended amount of protein is for. It's a recommended level that is set to prevent people from suffering from protein deficiency, which in some countries can be a serious issue. The recommended intake is a lower cutoff and not an upper cutoff, meaning you should try to eat that level or above. It's also not a recommended level for athletes or people trying to build muscle, who we know need more. But like I said, when you eat more than the recommended intake of protein, some people get worried. The big concern is that high protein diets can damage your kidneys. This is because when we eat protein, the excess needs to be processed and filtered by our kidneys, which is exactly what the kidneys are supposed to do. So when we eat more protein, our kidneys work more, and we end up peeing out more of the waste products of the protein called urea. The research that says that this could be a bad thing is often carried out in people who already have some form of kidney disease or other illnesses. And that doesn't mean that high protein intakes will cause problems for healthy people. In fact, we have plenty of evidence to show that high protein diets are safe. But let's talk about that science a little. And let's start with lower, more normal protein intakes. Over 1,500 women from the Nurses' Health Study were followed for over 11 years, and their protein intake and kidney function were monitored. At the end of that study, there was no association between protein and changes in kidney function in women who already had healthy kidney function at the start. However, in women who had poor kidney function at the start, higher protein diets did seem to lead to a further decline in kidney health. The difference here is important. If your kidneys are healthy, a high protein diet is not a problem. However, if someone already has kidney problems, they should keep an eye on their protein intake and diet in general. Oh, and just for reference, this study was looking at protein intakes ranging from about 60 to 90 grams per day. So pretty normal intakes. But we want to see what the effects of a really high protein intake are, right? The kind of protein intakes that athletes and bodybuilders are eating. Well, luckily, we have plenty of research on that too. Dr. Jose Antonio, a very famous protein researcher from Nova Southeastern University in Florida, did a study in resistance trained men and women who either ate a normal protein diet, which was actually a high protein diet at 2.3 grams per kilogram per day, or a very high protein diet at 3.4 grams per kilogram per day for eight weeks while carrying out a resistance training program. At the end of the protocol, there were no changes in kidney function in either group, no changes at all. But if that's not enough for you, Dr. Antonio carried out another study where young resistance trained men alternated between their normal diet, which was already high protein at 2.5 grams per kilogram per day, and a very high protein diet of 3.3 grams per kilogram per day for a whole year. This was a crossover study, which means that the participants got to try both protein intakes and were able to act as their own control group. So. After that diet of between 2.5 and 3.3 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day for a whole year, there were no negative effects on kidney health or even on liver health or blood lipids. That's right, no effect on kidney filtration rate, no effect on LDL or HDL cholesterol, no effect on triglycerides, no effect on blood sugar. The participants were perfectly healthy. So for most normal people, 
That's a pretty extreme example of how much protein you can eat and still be healthy. But for athletes and people trying to put on muscle, that's a pretty normal protein intake. And it's really good to know that it's safe as long as you don't have any pre-existing kidney problems. So am I saying it's impossible to eat too much protein? No, theoretically, it's possible to eat too much of anything. Too much is the point where something can begin to have a negative effect. You can even have too much water if you drink enough, it's called drowning. In practical terms though, if you're healthy, it would probably be extremely difficult to eat too much protein to have a negative effect on your kidneys. That said, one way eating a lot of protein could have a negative effect on your health is if you replaced other beneficial foods with protein. So for example, if you ate protein instead of getting enough fruit or vegetables, fiber, and other beneficial foods like that, it could end up having a negative effect on your health by stopping you from having a balanced diet. That's one thing to be cautious of when you're planning your diet. So what do you think? Did that help to put your mind at ease about protein and kidney health? As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And remember to like and subscribe to the My Protein YouTube channel for more great evidence-based nutrition information. Thank you.